What's going on, freaks? Seems like you sick fucks are enjoying the uh, Wilbur Soot downfall. And in fact, it's not just you guys, the uh, gay 12 year olds that watch Minecraft. I understand, you're gay and you're 12. I'd do the same thing in your shoes. But a gay 24 ish year old person named Dream decided to come out as well. And for the record, just so we're all on the same page, I'm using gay as their sexual orientation, not as a bigoted slur. I would never do that. I'm above that. Now, I'm just going to say it. Given the confidence that Dream had, I would almost have assumed that Dream got raped by Wilbur Soup himself. But funny enough, he doesn't even have any proof to add to the story. In fact, it seems like he's only come to drop this nugget of information in order to remedy his relationship with the Minecraft community. How strange. It's almost like everything that Dream does is to make more money. I should get like that. To me, it came as a large surprise to see Dream come out so vehemently against somebody who was facing allegations that really had no evidence. It's almost like somebody who went through something very similar named Dream would have an experience that would alter his life and make him think differently about how he would deal with these situations. But ultimately, money talks. He understands that the 30 million subscribers in his YouTube channel, well, unfortunately, they're gay and 12, and so they will believe anything that the other YouTubers that they look up to and stan will say. It's just a reality of being gay and 12. I swear to God, I'm not homophobic. Gay and 12 is just funny for some reason right now. It's hitting different. She said she withdrew consent using a safe word and that you frequently would intentionally bite down harder afterward to the point that she would scream. Even isolated from everything else, that is clearly abuse. While reading this, I was waiting to see you talk about that issue, to say anything at all, only to finish reading and find out that you didn't acknowledge it once. I really don't understand how you thought this was accountability or an apology or even an informative statement. Dream was writing this and he was like, the hoes gonna love this. And by the hoes, I mean the 12 year olds that are subscribed to him and for some reason will take his word for anything. Maybe he did touch those kids. I mean, listen, <laughs> evidence doesn't matter. For legal reasons, that was a joke. And uh, Dream. Start mewing, you fat fu- This did serve as confirmation she was talking about you, which I'm glad to have. Wilbur, you take accountability for being slobbish, disrespectful, and selfish. And it seems those are the things you acknowledge as past problems, while overshadowing the physically abusive actions and claiming to be completely reformed now. You seem to truly think you did nothing abusive. And the statement is built on that foundation. You're being dishonest with yourself, or dishonest with us, or both. You describe these acts as consensual, while refuting a complete revocation of consent. Through your agreed upon safe word, a word set with the purpose of explicitly ending consent. She trusted you with this safe word as a boundary. You shattered that trust. You shattered that. You shattered that trust. You shattered that trust. If you guys just like help me get famous, this will be great. By the way, like I, I want to make this clear. I've I've always maintained this. It's entirely possible Wilbur Soot is like the second coming of my boy Adolf, okay? I'm just saying, it's it's entirely possible. He might have shot up like three different schools in the UK. Anything is like possible. Like I'm willing to believe it. If you prove it, if you can show me, if I can see the video evidence, not necessarily video evidence, maybe um, a screenshot of him apologizing for something that you claimed he did. That would be an admission of guilt. You know what I mean? Be a bit scummy to be using an apology, but hey, it'd be a form of evidence, right? Show me anything, give me anything. But unfortunately, nobody's given me anything. And what's so bizarre is that the entire community, like obviously today we're clowning on Dream because he's got a big name. I want to get some views. Fucking, it's great. But the entire community is coming out and being like, oh, I can't believe he abused her. It's like abused. Ab like, like, that's what she said. And like, God bless. Like, I hope she like can figure that out mentally and whatever. But baby girl, if there ain't no evidence, you know, if the glove don't fit, you must have quit. And OJ did that shit. Like, we all know he did that shit. Where's the fucking glove? We like, at least they had to put a try to put the glove on OJ. Motherfucker, you guys don't even got the glove. Fuck, we're only on page one of this shit. <laughs> Therapy won't help if you seriously describe your abusive actions as playful, affectionate, and especially 
consensual. Your therapist can't read your mind and know you're being dishonest. Shelby was afraid to say your name due to your dedicated audience, and this wasn't acknowledged either. As someone who at times shared an audience with you, this is severely disappointing. This is some of the most soy shit ever. Oh, Shelby didn't name you. Shelby didn't name you. Motherfucker, like, it was so fucking obvious who, who, like, the second she said it, everybody knew. Oh, she didn't name you. I didn't name her in my last video. You knew who I was talking about. Like, what the fuck? Like, oh, she didn't name you. Motherfucker, there's, like, three options. What, you think she dated a million dudes? You think we gotta, like, oh, it's like picking the needle out of the haystack. Like, she's not a whore, to my knowledge. You know what I mean? Like... She seems like a well put together woman for the most part, you know, so I'd assume that, you know, relationships, given that she's young, she's probably not been in too many. So it's it's very likely that the person she's talking about is is likely going to be, you know, it's not very fucking difficult to figure out who the fuck she was talking about without a fucking name dream. You know, dream, you'd be so much cooler if you were like me. In basically every way, but you'd have less money pros and cons, right? You know what's really funny about Dream is that Dream wanted to do his face reveal not because, you know, he'll give you his spin, okay? He'll give you his spin. But Dream wanted to be the fantasy that all those kids had. You know, when Dream, when Dream popped off, people forget, but Dream was very obnoxiously confident. He, he was so cocky he would be that big YouTuber. And I think it dug at him that people didn't know what he looked like. People didn't know who he was. Oh yeah, they know Dream the YouTuber. They, they don't know me. They don't know me. I want to be famous, not Dream. I can't, I don't want to just make my money. I want them to know my face. I want them to like me. I want them to like me for me. And here's the problem. Here's the problem. They don't like him for him. And that's why he comes out and says this gay shit. That's why he comes out and yeah, you know what? I haven't seen any evidence, but Wilbur Suit, yeah, he's a fucking racist. He's an abuser because he needs to pander. And he's realized that now. He's real, but he didn't want to. That's the problem. You see, you see what's happening? That's why he came out with his face reveal. His face reveal, he's a Minecraft YouTuber. We don't need to see his fucking face. We don't need to see his fucking face. What's the point of his face? You know, what I mean? you, you, you can put a little camera in the corner. You need my face because I'm fucking talking to you. I'm talking to the camera. I, I'm not playing fucking games for kids. You get me? She had reason to be afraid to say your name, but you shouldn't have been afraid to say hers. Shelby. I'm sorry you had to go through this. I'm sorry that you felt scared about public support, and I hope this gives you some hope that the world overall is full of good people. You see how fucking rich this shit is? Full of good people. Motherfucker, just a couple fucking weeks ago, you were defending yourself against a couple of fucking underage minor cases. And, uh, not everyone was too convinced with the evidence you provided. You know, you were talking about, I'm gonna show all the Snapchat receipts. Not a receipt was found in that description, baby boy. I remember that shit. I remember that shit. I hope you remember that shit. You know, I, I made a whole fucking video defending your ass, your, your fucking ass, okay? Fuck it, Nick Cantu is right about you. I'm sorry that you will forever be affected by this. As a victim of domestic violence, I was scared to ever speak out. Eh? Dream's a victim of what? When when was he a victim? <laughs> Bro, I also, by the way, I always love when you ask those types of questions. It's always like, that's my story to tell. Like, that just give you some like innocuous fucking bullshit answer like that. Like, motherfucker, you brought up that you're a victim and now, now you won't tell the story. Oh, right, you, you want all the social credit that you're a victim. I won't tell the story. Okay, pal. It's incredibly encouraging to see so many people express support and uplift your story and message. And I believe this can help prevent many future situations like yours. I'm sorry if any events involving me or my audience in the past contributed at all to your anxiousness about coming forward in this community. And I hope this serves as a reminder to everybody that at the end of the day, the community and creators are united when it comes to the most important things. What do you guys think those most important things are? Because I'll tell you. Money! Money, 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 money. I turned on my donos when I told you guys about my right. It's funnier if we just don't include the last word, you know? The truth, what's right and wrong. Speaking for those who can't, uplifting the voices of those that might otherwise go unheard, standing up for what is right, and speaking against those that do wrong. Your story, your story you told, will help so many young people see signs of toxicity and abuse before it's too late for them. Thank you for being brave. Yeah, man, thank you for being brave. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.
If there's any message I can leave for anyone that's watching this video, mainly my viewers that watch me all the time are probably going to be here because everybody else is probably mad at me for the previous comments that were innocuous in my opinion, but you know, they took offense because what don't they get offended by? Uh, I swear to God, I'm I'm like a lib. Like I'm literally, I'm lefty. I'm a fucking lefty. I'm just not soy. Center left. Okay, let's not get carried away. My bad. Look, at the end of the day, is Wilbur Soot a bad guy? Did he do any of these things? Maybe we'll never know, you know, because for as much as people want to whinge and cry about things that may or may not have happened, they sure as fuck have no interest in providing any shred of evidence. Um, so yeah, that, that story's probably gonna just die out eventually. No one will talk about it. Just like the two mad situation, everybody came out, called him, you know, a pedophile and another couple of words. Nothing was proved. And, you know, it is what it is. That's just life, I suppose. He's dead. The story's dead. But, you know, it's not dead. Dream's Twitter account, because this shit got 91k likes as a reply. That means he ratioed Wilbur Soot. That's hilarious. It's kind of crazy. This guy has so much pull, even after all of the controversies. Things that, I mean, in my opinion, you could pretty much equivocate to what Wilbur Soot's being accused of, but, you know, lack of evidence. He was willing to say that for himself, but when it comes to Wilbur Soot, who has literally less evidence than Dream had to fight against, he's he's guilty, okay? Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video and you want to see more like it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I was pretty unhinged today, and I enjoyed this video. I think it's one of my best, so yeah.